Okay, everyone. So, which turning red character are you? For town for life. First, pick an activity. Pick a slumber party movie. Let's go with Pitch Perfect. Describe as friendly. Disney Princess. Ariel. Music genre. Pop. Fandom. Uh, Pokemon. School subject. Science. CW show, Supernatural. Friday night, watching TV. Marvel character crush on, Steve Rogers. You got me. You are smart, willful, and artistic. You're in the midst of discovering yourself and it's incredibly freeing. You're learning to speak up and go after what you want. You have an awesome group of pals who love you for you you are. Which is the color you sometimes let's see powerhouse. Hey, was that a new challenger? Well let's find out and see. And today, we're taking a look for the interview of Cartoon Network show, Infinity Train. And say hello to the new one. It's Kangoo. Good day, mate. I am Kangoo. Nice to pleasure to meet you. Nice to see you too. But anyways, let's watch the video about the Infinity Train review. Let us begin in three Two, one. Hey guys, how's it going? It is me, Saber, doing another quick vid. Which Ooh, is a different gotta format. need a quick vid. I uh, love to pick, some huh? Notes here, some bullet points, and uh, I'll be going off of that. So I'm probably gonna sound a little bit different. It's great. But it's just how I do Seems a little bit so different. The train is a mini series on Cartoon Network. Which is something that doesn't happen too often Ooh. for the network. But well, what's the big rush in that? Two miniseries ever aired on Cartoon Network. One being Over the Garden Wall. Over the which Garden is, like, Wall. My favorite thing they've ever Thank made you. Ever. And then the other being like this weird rock and roll like royalty thing. I, I don't know. I, I never watched it. Rock and so roll really royals, cool huh? We're going to do another miniseries. If it's anything like Over the Garden Wall, then it's going to be fantastic. Now, as far as Ooh, the that's fantastic. Infinity Train goes, it was created Still by a guy got the train named Owen and Dennis, an Infinity. He was a storyboard artist and writer for regular show. You also got some other awesome people who worked Ooh, on the Infinity the Train. The pilots, huh? Such as Nick Cross, who worked on Over the Garden Wall, and then Randy Myers, who worked on Ooh, Apple Pearls. That's and me! Tulip Olsen! It was put on YouTube and came out in 2016. Ooh, and did very that well. short debut in 2016. Three Got million it. views or something like that. Oh, so a lot of people were saying, "Give this show a full series." 
which didn't happen. Instead, it was a miniseries. And that is totally fine Sounds with a little me. bit particular. Like a, a miniseries can be very good or very bad. Just, it, it all depends on how they execute mm, Seems it. a little bit For okay the wall, uh, I think it was supposed to be a full series, but then they're like, nah, let's just do a mm. miniseries. Well, let's just, just never tell our story and get on with it. And I like that. Uh, hey, miniseries, it, it kind of forces me. people to have more focus uh, and stay like trim true. with their story. Which is exactly what happens here for Infinity Train. I, I, Wait, I'm I mean, going to mention spoilers, not now, shows? but later in the video. They're so, popular. the synopsis is Tulip, who's our main character. She's like, I think, like 13 or 14 or something like that. And she uh, oh. is just an average girl, kind of a nerd. Um, she Still gonna get a nerd, huh? Family that's going, that, that actually Ooh, has Ooh, it's before. going so, on on! And you see how it oh. really hasn't sit well with I her. I How uh, the divorce still causes still problems. Still got the ideas, mate. Uh, then we see her get sucked oh, into this train. Oh, I think I need to go on. The train, mate. And every cart of the train is a different world. Ooh. Where you got like a cart that's cool, like different eternal thing. civilization. One that <gasps> me is too. Pit, I'm on one it. One that is like... <laughs> Pencils. It, it reminds me a lot of Rick and Morty and the absurdity of it all. And it also oh, very Rick much reminds Morty. me of Adventure Time, which had like, Sings a little bit of adventures, a huh? This, a similar concept, but kind <laughs> of close. Where there's an episode where Finn oh, there's goes a bit of a train, train. Where can, like adventure forever. Bill got a fantasies. So I see the similarities with that. That being said, uh, Tulip is lost. She has this weird number thing on her hand. She doesn't know what it means. Oh, wait, is that her hand on a code? Orb robot that Definitely, has a yeah. Personality. One that's Glad one, sad one. one. Pessimistic. One one. And then she eventually runs into this talking corgi. So it, it's it's a fictional fantasy world. Uh, I Ooh, was on that's the face me. Of whether I'm a it dog. qualifies as science fiction, kind of. There's some robots in this series. Uh, what caught me off guard, though, you was seriously that fell it, is it, a it's kind of, um, Are these of horror, uh, dogs? Sort of in there. And and that was. Well, yep. I love horror. Dogs. I love what Over the Garden bark, Wall bark. did with horror and how like you've got this monster and multiple ghosts and demons in that series. And and this show, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like. Ghost and demon. Well, but that's that's why I'm on the fence with the sci-fi. Demons are really like evil. Fantasy, sci-fi, horror, and that's really cool well, for our Cartoon Network. That's show. a little bit it's of action. Cool that this show means a very uh, serious, mature vibe. Like I, it, it well, I'm candor, sure it's a little bit of robots. It's something where, uh, but I'm a red a person, panda then. Uh, can really enjoy this regardless of their age. Maybe little kids might be freaked out by it, but like uh, as an adult, don't I'm like this, me. and I was floored. There got the little flashbacks in here. <laughs> what are you singing? Oh, oh. Chased, so. I won't hit spoilers just yet. Um, I guess talking about. Are you adult. seriously? So again, uh, it's a giant, yep. massive train. And well, seems a little bit of challenge. Tulip, but even know that I'm about this. Trying to, to get to the front of the tra the train to talk to the conductor, thinking that the conductor might be able to get Tulip back home. So Tulip no, is there's no need to back into home. World without being Sometimes there. she's trying to find her way home, trying to figure but out what things, no need to get escape. things work and what's going on, and that's good but for it's like a, a protagonist to be just unaware of what's going on. Because it allows the audience to also walk Still with get the, the longest train and learn the ropes ever. of what the setting is, and and that's good for world building. Oh really? Never heard of that cause. Potentially huh. something completely random. Oh, it also kind of explains the narrative of it. Goodness, all. like the narrative of still what got the history, mate. How they come into being and just the the rules of this world and how things operate. It, it, there are fun designs, uh, fun characters, creepy characters. Uh, the, well, the, the robot that, that's the me. White orb that has a uh, that's definitely me. Reminds me a lot of the, uh, the robot the two of from us, the Hitchhiker's huh? Guide to the Galaxy. I thought that was kind of funny. There's probably some inspiration behind that. Maybe I don't know. <gasps> that fun. thing you know, is a little um, bit funnier, kind of, huh? Had a bit of a synth vibe. Well, too. I'm not good at talking about music. Okay. So I'm completely wrong. Is this gonna be this, it, huh? This atmospheric music that is such a mood, and I appreciate that. Whoa.
coming through the train. Uh, it's one of the stories, huh? So here we go. Um, spoiler. Never heard of this. I'm not gonna reveal the main, like, ending of the show. But uh, this theme plays a huge uh, role. I don't think in the I story. never. Uh, it's about suppression. Uh, it's about, I think I uh, never played this. Tulip is uh, a damaged I'm child. still a little bit of queen. Child, uh, don't you said, see that, huh? Divorced, and she's very much okay. So of it. Oh, I think it's a little bit tricky in and sometimes. That's essentially, the journey. You see how uh, Tulip, time and time no again, body. faces Meets different. Me. Kind of matchups and, and oh. foes and situations where, in a way, still got the gun. Still got to miss this, huh? Divorce. Uh, Am I going to do? Really spoke to me. Is the dude who spoke to you the other like person? Oh, kind of uh, really? Only to but I'm a kangaroo from Australia, <gasps> and you me. Quiet uh, down there, Joey. But no. Okay. I mean, face to face with the reality of it all, and and for those who don't know, my my parents got divorced when I was in like. A freshman in high school. Hmm. It's probably the most like I mean I can't wait to watch this again. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? And the show is not just really particular for me to up, but I'm a dog. That's why I'm making the Loud House video on Chloe Clement's channel. But he seriously did it. Divorce mentioned in like cartoons. I think well, Weekenders I'm random. The, and the, I'm the water. Tito or Tyler, whatever the main oh, blonde boy from the Weekenders is. His a little mother bit was divorced. Uh, it's told by Ginger. Her parents are divorced. But I'm and the it's water rare. spirits. Can, it's rare to see that brought up. Oh, but I guess it makes people feel man. uncomfortable. Who is that and girl anyway? And this show takes it head uh, on. That is what they're talking about. I don't about know divorce. about this, girl. It's about coming face to face with these pains of yep. suppressing memory Me and how to address them. Neither do I. Not necessarily get rid of them, right. but to live with it. So I need and to bark a the, the new theme one. is so mature I and tied in with bark, the science bark, bark fiction yourself. fantasy horror element of it all. What? It is I great. Just, I, I don't stay with me. What this show was right. telling. What, what the story, uh, the main story about it. And it surprised well, me because in the okay. first episode, it, I'm it, just a little it bit different. with a very serious yeah. message of divorce. Uh, mm -hmm. And how Tulip is hurting because of it. And because it's a mini series, it has to keep <gasps> the story moving along. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no kind of waste on, I think I never like, heard that song. Huh? Man, like, oh man, oh man. Like, episodes to get you set it, settled into the world. But then uh, ever present in the background is Tulip and how she's damaged. Oh, here it goes. Her parents' divorce haunts her. So, Ooh, uh, really? that being said, I would say that over the garden wall well, is still my no favorite need thing about that denied, ever aired. But who's uh, the news of the story Infinity of them all but at the same time Infinity Train speaks well to you speak to level. you right now I can relate to it I think over I'm the wall, going the to leave this town Infinity Train felt okay. a bit more rushed all right any sense you and know. I'm not saying that Infinity Train is bad again I highly recommend it it's on the Cartoon Network app you can catch it on television. Okay. Uh, and, and probably it, it might be on maybe Cartoon Network's YouTube channel. Okay. Check it out. I loved it. It's good. It's cool to see this kind of caliber of storytelling, especially from oh. Cartoon Network. Uh, it's about the story come true. Where it's not too dark, but also not pandering to them. Uh, and, and as an adult, it's also oh, a fun story love and has a deep message. Cartoons. So check out Infinity Train. Um, you can follow Owen Dennis on Twitter. I think, I don't know what's going to happen. I think this was a one and done thing, so I don't expect there to be another season. But uh, I, I want to see creators like him and other people. I want to see them keep providing these kinds of stories because they're great. And I well, that's about it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.